Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Guess the Elo, voted number one funniest series on YouTube in a poll that I just made up. In this episode, we have a lot of good moves, we have a lot of bad moves, as always, and if you want to get involved, make sure to be a Twitch subscriber and sign up in the Discord. I got nothing else to say. Here we go. All right, YouTube, I'm going to be very honest with y'all. We just screwed up a recording. This is take two. That's why you see the chat wilding out. Because they want to tell you that I messed up. And I did mess up. And I want to own up to it. And this is my YouTube apology video. Okay? So, this is... Guess the ELO. Episode whatever. Gotham subscriber with the white pieces. E4, C5. And subscriber plays D4. C takes D4, C3. This is known as the Smith Mora Gambit. And the whole point of it is that you sacrifice two pawns. Alright, chat, relax. Learn. Okay? I'm supposed to cry to make it more sincere, right? It's called the Smith Mora Gambit, and the idea is you develop your pieces very quickly and you immediately go to target your opponent's weaknesses. The opponent plays E5. So E5 is a bad move. So actually, Black doesn't know the opening. E5 is a very bad move because your bishop will just get lined up to the F7 pawn and nobody will get in the way of it. Um, the other thing to remember uh, is that the Smith Mora Gambit uh, is my main recommendation in my recently launched Gambit's course with the white pieces. You could check that out by using the command courses on Twitch or going to www.gotham-chess.com, which is in the link in the description. And that will be my advertisement for the video. So we get knight f3 and bishop c4, very good. And now bishop to e7. So at this point, black is losing if white plays the move queen to b3. So let's see if white plays queen b3, punishing the setup, or castles and just... Ah, well you can't lead the charge with the queen, because then they go here. Now did you take and attack the rook? Okay. And then did you take... The... Damn, you aggressive, man. You are an aggressive player. But see, now here's the problem. You just ran out of fire. This is, there's no attack here. And oftentimes when you think you're attacking, you're just going to make a lot of forward-looking moves which don't do anything. That's what you're going to do. You're going to make a lot of forward-looking moves that don't actually do anything. Please don't take with the queen. Good. No blunders, castles, castles. Okay, so white has emerged out of the opening up upon. But, um, but, um, you know, rook d1, activating the rook, maybe b3, bishop b2, something, putting the rooks on the center lines or something like that. Okay, okay. Yo, that is, oh my god. That is an absolutely fantastic move. I don't even, I don't even care that the engine at first isn't even that fond of it. Opening the position like this with a pawn break to activate the bishop, the knight, and maybe the rook... That is a very high-level move. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. But white responds with a very nice move of their own. Great move by black. Okay. See, trading only benefits white. What is th What is that? Why? Boss. What, did you just forget about this? What is that? He just lost the pawn! I was gonna say trading is good for white. <clears throat> because white is up a pawn. Okay, but see now, now we have a really weird endgame because white has connected past pawns. But the problem is you can't push them. Because if this, then this. And if this, then this. So... Okay, that move does nothing. Knight d2. Nice. Nice. Very tough position. Maybe knights... Okay. That move is not good. Because, again, you guys got to ask yourselves before you make these moves. Am I doing anything? Like, are these moves actually doing anything? The answer is no. That move doesn't do anything. Good. No! You don't want to trade. Wait, well, why would you trade? Now I just have... Now I'm going to roll. I'm going to just roll. No! No! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Black lost all their pieces. So, if we go all the way back, like, here, okay? Like, here. These pawns should literally never make it to the other side of the board. Never. 
Because to push the pawns, they need to go together. You cannot push one pawn all the way and then push the other. And every time you push one, the other gets weaker. Like, now the a3 square is weak. Watch. Now the b4 square is weak. So every time you push one, the other gets weaker. That is how chess works. You can't push them both at the same time. Right? Watch. <clears throat> Later on. Now they're really far apart. Now they're really far apart. So now, like, if you plant on b5, you hit this. Right? But when you trade the rook, you have no accountability for the b file anymore. You cannot trade rooks in this position. Because now I just march the pawns together. So... Endgame mistake. Alright. Endgame mistake. Um. I'm gonna say. Low 1200, high 1100. That's what I think. That's what I'm gonna say. Low 1200. It's what I think it should be. Based on the play. Low 1200, high 1100. Wow. Oh, we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. I mean, I said I said high 1100, but 1100. 11, I'm, I'm going to st start saying ranges. 11 to 1200. So, yeah, that's what it felt like. That's what it felt like. And this person is also higher rated in rapid. So 1300 rapid. This, this is a blitz game. This is a 5-5 five, five blitz game. So 5 minute, 5 second bonus. Uh, which makes sense. So the quality of the play is mildly lower, but it was a very good game. So White is actually quite a strong player. Uh, but I guess for the... Right? Makes sense. Okay. Next game. Uh, Gotham Sub has the black pieces. E4, C6, Knight F3, D5. Takes, takes, D4. Okay, so we have an exchange Karo Khan. Uh, one of the most boring, but ultimately, you know, the most solid and good variations that exist in the Karo Khan. Not the most interesting, but, you know, it's, that doesn't... So here... Okay, so this is terrible, and this is worse. Um, I mean, are you Northern Lion? I think you've watched way too much Northern Lion content. Because my man, my man, Mr. Egg, Mr. Egg always sacks that knight for the two pawns, bro. He always does that. I don't know what, I, I don't know what his obsession is with that. He does it all the time. It was my game, I was tilted. I see. But, homie, I mean, there's a difference between a good tilted sacrifice and just moving a bishop back one square, you know? Um, but then again... The exchange Karo Khan, you know, all of these exchange variations, like the French and the Karo Khan, they're boring. I mean, it's tough to instigate, you know, it's tough to, but I promise that, you know, you, you, you will get better at chess if you learn to just ca calmly outplay people in these positions. Um, but okay, I mean, we still have a game. Oh, that's a good move. Trades your most powerful piece. Now you hang H5. Okay, okay. It's, it's not over, you know, you can create counterplay. It's really not over. Okay, good. Probably, oh, but just be very careful. Oh, okay. Okay, that move does nothing. That, this is, that, that's a move that looks like it does something. That move actually does nothing. Karakhan is usually just boring. Ban that man. No, don't actually ban that man. Karakhan is not boring at all. You just, you just probably haven't appreciated the, the opening yet. That's okay. Um, nice. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Check. One blunder is all it takes. Also, why wouldn't you go get the pawn? Like, at least go get the pawn. I, I think I know why he did it. You know, he's looking at this and this. The problem is... The problem is that the queen covers the h1 square. Also, knight d6 is devastating now. And that happens. And you can't take... And then here, in this position, white played, white played one of the worst moves I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even joking. And I actually understand why white played it, but it doesn't change the fact that it's one of the worst moves I've ever seen in my life. Queen h2. Why did white play queen h2? 
to guard the pawn. The problem is, this completely takes the foot off the gas. I mean, the queen, the bishop, the knight took a road trip. They were within two blocks of their hotel by the beach. And then dad got mad, so dad turned the car around and drew, drove all the way home. All right, that's basically what happened here. And no joke, my dad has, not, not to that extent, but I remember I pissed my dad off once, and he straight up did that. I was like, bro, has, has anyone ever had a parent do that? Because I, uh, I'm not gonna, that's one of the stupidest things I've ever seen in my life. Like, parents, I don't know what y'all doing, but if you're 99% of the destination there, go to the place and discipline the kid at the place. What kind of, what kind of nonsense is that, okay? You know, your dad put your Xbox in the bath. My dad broke my lap, broke my desktop with a, you know, by slamming it on the floor because I played too much Maple Story. okay? You know what? Parental advice in the Guess the Elo series, okay? I don't have any children, adopted children on the chessboard, several, uh, you know, when you beat them 10 times in a row, but, uh, you know, only beat your kids in, in chess, uh, not, uh, not, 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 not the other, otherwise. Uh, Bishop takes d6. Now, why is this so bad? Oh, this is really bad because black is just getting counterplay. Like, black just has a draw now. White never castled. By the way, you guys are going to say, what, what, what should he have done? He should have just castled. And again, people wouldn't castle here because they'd go, oh my god, the queen is over there. But you can't even play rook c8. Knight takes. You know? So, anyway. Queen h2. Turned out okay. Looks like your dad didn't do too bad of a job. No, I had, I, I mean, I had, I had good parenting. Yes, growing up. I, I mean, I, I, I will never blame my parents for me being a moron. That, that's a personal choice. So take stakes. Good. Check. Okay, is it just a draw? No. Wait, actually, I underestimated that move. Wait, but why? Oh. Apparently white can like I was just gonna say castle, but that's bad because take take and your bishop gets trapped Boop, boop. And by the way remember a long time ago I said white played this move bishop g5 That made no sense like this move like white just made a random bishop move Yep And there you go it comes back to bite and now that that's just a useful you Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh! Oh! What a move! What a move! Oh, and then mate! It's dovetail mate! He sacked the rook! Woo! Damn. That's crazy. I have no idea. You gained like 300 points for that. So you played a really good game after you... You played really well. Really well and really controlled. After you sacrificed. Mm. So, knight takes g4 was your only... But you didn't see queen a5. This is a big tell. In a blitz game, so again, if we go all the way back here, you did not see queen a5 in this position. I'm going to say 1400 to 1500. That's my rating range. You were tilted in the beginning, and I respect that, but I'm going to say 14 to 1500. Okay, 1300. That's, 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 that's very impressive. And wait, is this blitz? Okay, and what's your rapid? 1600. Yeah, not bad. Good. Rook, finding rook h2 is really, really well done. How long did it take you to find rook h2? Oops. 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah. So good, good thing that you used a lot of time, like, uh, on this move. Nice. So you were like, wait, what if I just... Yo, that's nice. Man spent 20 seconds. He, was re he really wanted to make sure. He's like, I'm so close. Nice. Good job. Good job. I actually thought you were higher rated, so I think you have potential. Okay, game three time. Sorry, I'm taking pauses because I'm speaking with uh, a YouTube manager about why, for about a week straight, YouTube was just deleting all of my ads. Like, I was setting them, and then I would go back, and they were all gone, and I was like... So, that, that's a twofold uh, hit. 
Um, number one, you obviously don't get ad revenue if people watch the video, so you have no mid-rolls at all. Um, but uh, the way YouTube works is that if you have more ads on a video, they're more inclined to push it out. Common sense, right? So if you have four ads on a 30-minute video and it, they all get deleted and you have zero, it gets pushed out less. So YouTube auto-deleting all my stuff because it's glitching is a bad thing. Also, YouTube was deleting all my subtitles. So I was putting subtitles and it was just so. Anyway, um, maybe this rant will end up there and maybe not. Uh, subtle hacker? No. No. <laughs> that one's subtle hacking. Anyway, Karo Khan in... Is this... Oh, is not, this is a different game. Okay, very good. Okay. Take it. C5. C5. No! What? C... Guys, if you play the Karo Khan, you need to know how to develop your pieces. You need to develop your pieces. Like, you gotta know how to develop your pieces the right way. Like, in the Karo Khan, if you can play C5, you gotta play C5 and Knight C6. You gotta go here. You gotta go here. And then you also have to take free pieces. Your bishop always covers c5. Right? Someone in someone in the chat just said, are you a male, female, or in or what? I don't what? I don't know what he, that guy's asking. Okay, very nice. Maybe that was a Google Translate? I don't know. Why is C5 so critical in the Karo Khan? I mean, it, it, it is. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, it just is. Uh, I, can't, I can't, you know, uh, turn this into a Karo Khan masterclass. But any video on the Karo Khan will explain, you know, why it's such an integral move. It fights for the center. It's just a very important move. Okay, now Black is playing like uh, Alpha Zero. What is this? What is this? Now black is like beautiful. Like what is look, look at this position. H3. Yo, Gotham sub is just What the hell? Are you What is this? Bro, you destroying this guy. Gotham sub got out of the opening and like barely knew Oh my god. I... Is this how parents feel? Like... What I envision now is like a parent sitting in their living room like in the morning drinking coffee. And they're just watching their, their son or daughter like run around the room, eat crayons, like spill things all over the place, bang their head into a wall by accident bite the dog and you're just looking at it like why didn't i use protection like i i mean i was so proud for so long I was so proud for so long. This was so beautiful. Everything you did here was like a symphony of pieces. It's like your older sibling took over for half the game. And then they were like, all right, I got you to this position. All right, now don't do anything stupid. Oh my God. You went from Magnus Carlsen to Carlos Magnuson. Exactly. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea, dude. I honestly, I mean, literally, I have no clue. Um... Nine hundred to a thousand. I, 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 honest. I'm literally clueless. I have no idea. You've, you've completely stumped me. Wow. Yo, 
I was right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's crazy, dude. Come on, Biggs. What are we doing, Biggs? Crazy, bro. You you out of your damn mind, man. So, let's just quickly... I'm just gonna quickly... Before I go to the next game, I just want to teach everybody, like, why I'm in such shock. Like, Black played so well. And then, in this... Wait, I, I have a theory. Do you think that Black, uh... Mouse slipped? This move? Like, maybe they meant to go here. And instead, they played this and hung this. And then that, like, set them off. This is the only move. You did? Oh, 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 he's saying he did. And now, after that, it just went... I mean, it all went to, you know... He just panicked, and he lost all his pieces. He covering? I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing, but... Uh, I'm doing alright, I guess. Why would he send you a game you mouse slipped? Probably because it was very chaotic, and it was a good game to analyze. I don't know. Uh, wow. That was, uh, that was an intense game. Shout out to Eric Rosen in the chat. One day, one day somebody will submit a game they played against Eric on stream. All right. Uh, Bishop D3, 92. Okay. Like King's Indian from black. Okay. Like black's got to go E5. Black's got to go E5. White should go F3 now to kick out the bishop. Good. What is Rosen? Better question is, what isn't Rosen? Yo, guy... Sub with the white pieces, boss. What are you doing here? What is... What? Homie, you gotta play D5. You gotta play D5. Also, 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 also. If you see the King's Indian coming, you have to go and get that bishop. You have to put the battery and go get that bishop. And then pawn storm, queenside castle. Thanks, Stelvio. Says, love your courses, keep it up, appreciate it. You got, this is the only way to play the King's Indian. You will win so many games. Rather than improvising and playing like this. Because now black just, oh my, oh my goodness. There's so much chaos here. You got to see through the chaos. The best move unquestionably is pawn takes pawn. And then this is just guarded twice and it's a fork. So, see you, Eric. How do you deal with self-doubt after losing nine games in a row? Take a walk. Life goes on. It's just chess. D5. Also, everybody has self-doubt. You're going to have self-doubt the rest of your life. Don't run from it. Embrace it and overcome. E takes D5. Knight. Okay. Yeah, the problem is that black walked into a fork. Right? So, black walks into a fork. Right? Bishop takes, pawn takes, knight back to e7, cd6, cd6. Okay, so white is up a piece. Couple of ways to play this position. I would probably just focus on the queen side, like infiltrating on this side of the board. Um, but I could be wrong. Okay, that's also a good move. Isn't this kind of early for a stream? I stream all the time at this hour. Boss, where you been for like a year? It's like, you don't stream this early. Okay, so in that tactical sequence, white missed the backwards bishop move to check. And lost the knight. But black is still losing because of how weak the king is. So if you count material, black is up a pawn. But, but the king is really weak. So for example, bishop b5 attacks the rook and opens up the queen to go here. But that's hard to see. That's a good move. I wouldn't take. No! See, this is just a misunderstanding of the position. It's not about winning the pawn back. You have to go and attack the king. The king is wide open. The pawns are all over the place. Go get the king. And if the king goes up, you just mate. Like, it's going to be mate in a few moves. So... Oh, man, you guys got to...
guys got to understand what to play for in the position rather than just making that trade. It's all about... Okay. What the hell? Oh. I guess the idea was that, like, the king is wide open, but there's no mate. There's just no mate somehow. And if you go here, I just somehow hide. What? What? Also, shout out to Senor Stonato, who just donated $11.82 and had that very nice donation. Uh, said, currently studying the course. Uh, welcome to chess. Says, uh, did you pick up chess because of Queen's Gambit? So the threat is H4 mate. How do you stop that? I don't think h4 actually stops it it absolutely stops it never mind wow really that's crazy the king is safe there okay it's significantly simpler to just go here because now your king can escape you've cut the queen off but okay y'all want to play h4 that's fine Okay, that's brave. I would just go queen f6. I apologize. I was wrong. Now we got to think of the elo. Okay, the opening tells me about 1,000. 1,100 is the top. Like, 1,150 is the absolute ceiling, I think. Uh, this area? Let's see. It's a decent game on it. Well, finding this was impressive. A thousand to eleven hundred is my guess. Wow. They uh they underperformed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah, they 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 definitely did not perform that well. Yeah, I I did not think that they were twelve hundred. Almost touched my ear. Yeah, no, 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 I'm touching my face. The beard is different. What's up, Sam? Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. The fifth and final game. Gotham subscriber has the black pieces. D four. D5, the London system, knight to f6, very good, very good, very good, very good, you London the London. There are many ways to play against the London system, knight e5 is not a bad move, that's good. Bishop d3, okay, so at this point, you really need to find the right way to trade in, in, in the center. You can also play c5. You, you shouldn't go here just to copy them. Takes, takes. And I would, I would play like a combination of these few moves to just get rid of the knight. Maybe knight h5 to get the bishop as well. Right? Okay. Okay. I, uh, take this. Just take the bishop. And then drop back. Nice. Nice. Black played a really good opening. This was really good. Black is playing really well. Okay, Black is literally playing a perfect game. Okay, now did Black take on f4? What? Okay, now, now it's a little bit kind of like tricky. Like maybe you, you probably play down the middle. You probably try to like put the rooks behind and just bulldoze the middle of the board. That's not a bad move. Move the queen to safety. Um, okay. Okay, queen trade. Can't hurt. Okay, good. 
Check. Yup. Now push. Just push the pawns. All right. All right. So, so like the, the the big question to me will be, you know, do they do they push the pawns to open the position, or do they just try to maneuver with? Okay. You see, see, they're only maneuvering with their pieces. Oh, and White just blunders. Oh wait, that's not quite a blunder. There's Queen H two. They found it. Okay. Oh my God, it's double check and mate. Oh, he goes, okay, they go here. Rookie two. That's insane. Look at this mate. Double check and mate. And the king can't escape to anywhere. Wow. Wow. Also, Beanarito just said, Chad, I'm going to be a dad. My wife and I just announced we're having our first kid. That's amazing. This dude could have delivered a double rook and queen mate. And you could have, you're, you're being, you're becoming a dad. Both of those things are completely equivalent. Congratulations. YouTube say congrats. If you made it this far in the video. Wow. A double check and mate is just about the same as having a child. Like, let's be serious. I mean, come on. When's the last time you got a double check and mate at the same time? Huh? It's rare. It's easier to have a kid, let me tell you that. Well, not for, not for some of us. Right, not, except the fact that, you know, you have, to, you have to pay for the rest of your life. But, you know, um, and, you know, you don't sleep. And, frankly, it probably takes some years off your life as well. But, yeah, whatever. Wow. Wow. But Rookie 2 is how the game ended. Man. Uh, dude, what the hell? Black played so well that game. It seemed like Black didn't really know what to... Like, Black, like Black didn't play Theory. Like, at like 18, 1900, you start playing like C5. You start playing the Theory. But Black just played very solid chess. And by the way, this is a great example of how to beat the London. Like, just be solid. Punish your opponent for making mistakes. You literally just took advantage of... Now, this is the part... Like, this maneuver drops you some points. The fact that you did not have the, 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 the imagination to push up the pawns takes away some elo, I think. Um, but then at the end, you found... I mean, I'm... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you're like... I touched my ear. Uh, if you're like 1600, 1700... Then, no, I don't think 16, 1700 does that. I think you would play with your pawns. I'm going to say like 13, 1400. Actually, if you're higher than that, then you need to play with you, your pawn play concept is, is a bit lacking. You played very well, but I feel like it, 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 was, it was a very easy game. Like 13, 1400 would not blunder anything in the opening. And then this, okay, queen f6. I mean, you know, you finding queen f6 here rather than like some random move is pretty good. Um... I mean, maybe you're 1500, but if you're anything above 1500, I'm actually not happy with the way you, you, you did the whole rook maneuver. Maybe 1500, maybe, maybe 1500, but I, 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 I'll be a little bit upset. All right, here we go. Nice. 13, 1400. That's what I said. You're 1400. Look at that. I called it. Damn, I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. Yo, shout out to Levy is very handsome in the chat. That's that's not me, by the way. That's not my username. Nice. Yeah, you played very well. Um, and then what 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 game oh, this looks like a rapid game? It's a rapid game. Yeah, you played very well. Are you actually from Japan? There's not a lot of Japanese uh, chess players. They're shogi players. But wow, well, that was a pretty fun episode. Now time to eat breakfast.